foreclosure thing. They bought it at auction. And apparently they left it furnished. <laughs> That's a hell of a bonus. If the previous owner got foreclosed on, why did they leave their furniture behind? I don't know. Maybe they died and there's no heir to settle the estate. Or maybe they committed suicide and we get to sleep on their deathbed. I'm sure you'll have a really pleasant conversation with Jack and Sue asking them all about that. Foreclosure is bad juju, no matter how you slice it. I really have to bring the dogs. Not too late to drop them off at a kennel. My babies are not being boarded. Well, maybe if we had real babies, these could just be our dogs. Ain't like swear. Ain't like swear. You can tell. You can tell. Do you like a hundred and three dollar music download charge? Probably what? For what? Are you the download police now? Turn signal. You know, studies show that men who use turn signals get more blowjobs. <laughs> Did we get that option on this car? That's a house. You sure we got the right address? Yeah, those are their cars. What time are they expecting us? We left it open. So you said it would be a, a good idea to drive all the way out here without confirming first. All right. Hey, it's Chris. Hey. We are here on your doorstep. Not sure where you are. OK, give us a call. Bye.
Why would they have a lock on the inside of the door? Panic room? I don't know, maybe it used to be a basement instead of a closet? Why would you have a lock on the inside of a basement? I don't know. When I channel the original owner, I'll let you know. <laughs> Chris, it's been hours. Maybe we should go. Relax, they'll be here. Maybe we should call the police. To report what, exactly? I don't know, missing persons, I guess. You really think someone abducted a family of four? Well, where are they? I don't know where they are, but I'm sure there's a logical explanation. Where's the phone? I don't know, I'll check the kitchen. Hi, you've reached the Haas family. We are Jack. Hey brother, I got your message. Very funny. Call me, I wanna come see that haunted house next month. I wish there was something I could do to help you folks, but without more to go on, there's not much we can do. There's no sign of forced entry or struggle. Are you sure they didn't leave town by way of cab and plane? Maybe they just wanted a technology-free family getaway. Their keys are here. Lots of folks have a spare set of uh, travel keys apart from the usual fully loaded set. The door was left open. Well, we're trusting folks in this town. Yeah, I'm not saying that I recommend it. Thank you, officer. Sorry, my wife's just concerned. Is there anything else you can do at this point? Well, I'll come by tomorrow afternoon to see if there have been any further developments. We can take it from there. That'd be great. Thanks. Where would you go that you would leave your cell phone behind? I, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know why their cell phones are here. I don't know why their keys are here. I don't know why they're not here. I mean... You should have said something more to that cop. You should be doing something right now. The cops don't care. All it means to them is a couple more hours of paperwork. 
I don't know. You want me to call another cop? I want to leave. I, like, I, I think we're probably overreacting, but if anything really is wrong, I think we should figure it out. Why do you always have to stick your nose into everything? We never should have come in in the first place. We were invited. They're not home. If this is anything more than a misunderstanding, I think we should get to the bottom of it. I would want Jack and Sue to do that if the roles were reversed, wouldn't you? Right? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I would. Look, I'm sure the cop's right. Everything's fine. Okay, come here. We'll just make a night of it. Did you? Hey. <laughs> Robin Laura Smith, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I want to have babies with you. <laughs> Lots of them. <laughs> At least two. Three. Will you marry me? that we agree on having kids. Yeah. We're dependent upon my income right now, as it is, and how do you fit your kids into the mix? I don't know, downsize. I like our lives the way they are. You, me. So what are you, what are you saying? I just don't want my whole life to be about driving to work, working all day, coming home at night, being up all night, changing diapers. That's not my dream. So, after eight years of marriage, it basically boils down to I don't make enough money and you don't want to change diapers. That's great. What the fuck am I supposed to do?
backwards. What? What? I don't know. It's like, uh, I don't know. It's like, uh, you know, rats or something. Oh God, it was under my shirt. It was clawing. My, my back and he's biting me. Oh my God, where is it? No, it was a. I didn't see anything. No, it was there. It was like a small animal, and I was squeezing it. And... I can't sleep. Shit. I'm scared. It was probably just a dream. Nightmare. No, you don't understand. It was real. I was awake. I felt it. Maybe you were sleepwalking. What are you doing? Just going out for a jog. I'll clear my head. Maybe I'll find a neighbor who knows something about Jack and Sue. Nonsense, son. There are no better architects than the Haas brothers. Salty! Pepper! Salty? Jody, take him out for a jog and let I was two steps away from Yogananda. What do you want? I think I need your help. Princess, what troubles? 
Joel. You know me. I am not one to let my imagination get the best of me. Come on. No, I... This place is such a money pit. Maybe you got confused. I know what I saw, and then... Don't hiss. And then I went to her office, and she had this journal. And she's been tracking this thing. She had pages marked on, on the internet. She... Look, this house has a history. Speaking of history... No, just who you need. Who I need is Chris. Do you think he left me because I told him? Hell no. Can't run that far. Charlie off brooding at some coffee house. If he doesn't come back, and the time it takes him to read his time from cover to cover, <sighs> let me know. There is so much weird shit in this house. <sighs> You're right, by the way. Need to be said. I mean, how do all these breeders sleep knowing there's all these mouths to feed all over the world? Joel. There are plenty of nice little Chinese babies in orphanages. If you ever want to go that route, I would make a fabulous Manny. Joel. Or Uncle Chen Chen. Joel, I'm serious. You need to see Dr. Hunt. She's right next door in Sierra Madre. I went to her when I was having the energy crisis last it's June. Week. She's amazing. Joel, I need help. I don't need crystal therapy. Can't you just come out here? Let's see. My ghostbusting jumpsuit is at the dry cleaners. And I have a date with Juan tonight. Yep, no can do. Juan, is that the internet guy? Hmm. <sighs> Why do you have to make him sound so cheap, darling? So you're gonna stand up your friend of 15 years. 15 years. What's the address again? Hi. I'm friends with your neighbors, Jack and Sue. You don't happen to know where they are, do you? Sorry, no. My husband and I were supposed to spend the weekend with them, and uh, did, did my husband stop by this morning? No. Um, but but hold on, sweetie. Did somebody stop by this morning? No. Sorry, we couldn't be more help. If I get pregnant now, I'll lose my leverage, and I may not get it back. If not now. When? Give me two more years to stay focused on my career. And then I promise, I promise. Hello, Dr. Hunt, please. My name's Robin. I was recommended to you by Joel Chen. Could you tell me a little bit about the type of work that you do? I got your call. I'm sorry, I think you're confused. I don't live here. No, no, no it was definitely you. It... Excuse me, but who are you? Crystal Finnegan, psychic. Maybe even a healer. I haven't really felt that one out yet. Okay. Did Joel put you up for this? Joel? I wouldn't do that, just yet. So, it was Dr. Hunt, right? Of course, you're another one of her crystals. <laughs> How did you get this address? Oh, right, don't tell me. You're psychic. You've been psychic your whole life? 
Well, five or six weeks, give or take. Officer. Ma'am. I see that your friends have returned. Uh, no, sir. In fact, my husband went jogging this morning to talk to some of the neighbors and find anything else out. I'm concerned because he left without his phone. It's been over eight hours. I see. Ma'am, it seems like you've got a lot of missing persons on your hands. That's why you called me. And you are? No, no, wait. Um, Crystal Finnegan, psychic. Uh. I understand. Uh, well, then it seems like you ladies are working this out. No, officer. Uh, you know where to find me. Oh, God. Okay. I don't know who put you up to it, but I'm not game. Thanks. Yeah, but you called me. Right, well, if I need you, I'll call you back. Okay, Thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think Bye. if you could... I think, I think I can help you. Bye. Have a sparkly day. I'm going out now. Very well, my dear. But do remember our agreement, hmm? No more strays. Mr. Puff and Mistress Fluff are quite enough. We cannot save them all. Yes, Mother. Okay. from the Queen. Thank you. But what? It's a mala. It helps you focus. You say a prayer or mantra for each bead. Shit, that's a lot of praying, Joel. I haven't really been in touch with the Almighty since I was about 10. And I think it was something along the lines of, God is neat, let us eat. Now, blow up the flame. Cleanse, purify, remove negative energy. Oh, it smells like it's doing just the opposite. <coughs> Open positive channels. <coughs> Behave. You're not supposed to inhale. That's not what you said in college. Joel. Basement. That's what I'm aware of. Darling, are you sure she didn't find an entry point to a crawl space? Maybe she just got out and decided to explore. 
issues there. You could have heard her below the house and mistaken the noise as coming from inside the closet. Oh my God, you're right. See, I'm sure. You're totally right, oh my God. Earlier today, it was... you call back? Oh, my great molas. How do you do that? Pursuing him. What was? Ooh, that's gonna be a hard one for you to hold. What do you mean by that? He never went jogging. Well, where did he go then? Up, sort of. Is there an attic here? I don't know. I. I wasn't exactly looking for one. I'll be back in the morning with a ladder. Mama, what do I do? I don't know what's going on here. Jai Jai, you listen to your heart and stand by your friend. But what if I see a spirit or a ghost? Mama, you should see this place. To go away, or you send him home to God. Mama, what if it doesn't listen? Then you run like hell, as fast as your ugly toe can carry you. No? Mama, I have to go. I'm coming. Spirit barrier. Spirits can't tolerate burning incense. What if Salty and Pepper come back and break their legs on one of these? One thing I've come to know, Salty and Pepper, they're not exactly stealthy creatures. We'll hear them coming. Well, you just remember that when you go to the can in the middle of the night and break a toe. <sighs> this is ridiculous. We're not even Christian. It was Jesus. Where did you get this thing? Online. It was listed as Fuzzy Jesus Queen Blanket. It was meant for me.
clothes. Borrow something from your friend's closet. Under the circumstances, that is creepy and wrong in too many ways. I sense the need for an emergency fashion reconnaissance. How can you think of shopping at a time like this? Necessity is a mother of credit card intervention. Oh, look, we have enough time to make a run before Crystal gets here. Divide and conquer. You hit the juice bar and get my fresh, local, organic, 85% vegetable juice, and I'll outfit the troops. validation you must dare to believe what does that mean that's the message they sent you they who your guides guy didn't ask for this either there's a shift happening in our world it's like the veil is being lifted if this is going to turn into some sort of apocalyptic sermon it's I'm not like what you. i'm saying at all there are no demons coming they've been here all along I move for you sewing into back room. Oh no, boo, I like it here. But Madame Sir no like. Sir, come home tomorrow. Well, boo. I like this room the best, and I believe that women have a right to a vote. So, Sir will have to go. Yes, Madame. What's this supposed to do, other than make my butt numb? Prepare the body, prepare the mind, open your chakras to the infinite possibilities. Possibility of what? Spirit can understand, allow, and believe in science. But science refuses to give credence to spirit. There's evidence for science. There's evidence for faith. But it's intuitive. You refuse to feel, you're largely cut off. How do you know it's not just a brain chemistry reaction? I mean, forgive me, it just, it all seems a little crazy town to me. No one's trying to convert you. Not everyone answers the call. Then what's the point in all this? How is it supposed to make any kind of difference? That's where faith comes in. Okay, well, what next? Because I think that my chakras are as open as they're gonna be. This is what's known as Paige the Lost. 
I'll tell you a secret too. It's put here at the end of the book to show that you've read it through. Good night. Do I get a kiss? I don't go. Oh, it's time for bed. Hold on. Don't go. It's time for bed. <laughs> you in bed? Mm. Mm, I'm so glad you returned. Emma, what's all this? Mm. Oh. <laughs> Love. The light in the morning to sew by is so divine. There are plenty of rooms with sufficient lighting for your hobbies in this house. I'll not have all this fall or all cluttering up my parlor. This is where I like to sit with my thoughts. This is where we entertain guests. Yes, dear, but that is why I made the curtains. We can obscure any eyesore which is... It's like... fine for now, but I have to be back on the line in a week's time. I expect all of this to be elsewhere upon my return. Is my meaning clear? Yes, dear. Emma, I have missed you. Now, away with you. I'll be up presently. They were here, in this room. They were here. American Secretary of Interior attacked. Did you see this, darling? Secretary of Interior. Doctor and Mrs. Ebal Lichtenberg to see you. It's Doctor Ewald Lichtenberg. Let us see. Lich. Bear. 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 you devil. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what strange machinations have you and your sorceress been brewing up now, eh? She's set to raise the spirits from the great beyond the sea. She's ripe, raving mad, no doubt. I could devour you. But alas, it behooves me to humor her such that her beauty doth bespell me. Let the evidence speak for itself. <laughs> Free the cats to prowl, good man. Perhaps you and I can raise old Lucky. Catch a hint of the race outcomes. <laughs> Soon I know the direction of the new rail line. No. <laughs> oh, yes, I know this one. Kids, yes? Mm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> They were here. They have your dogs. Why? I don't know. They were definitely here. What? No, no, no. Nope. Nothing. What am I supposed to do with that? Dust your prints. Wait for the answer and believe it will come. Right.
Friend, I fear you tread a dangerous territory by harboring that Asian. There's word of penalties being levied against employers of the illegals. How many paper sons has he ushered across our borders now? I'm not one to judge the accuracy of those personal affairs. He would be one ripe, fertile bastard, were it true, huh? <laughs> <laughs> In San Francisco, they begin sequestering them at port for questioning. Why not let him go before the cauldron gets too hot? We'll do nothing of the sort. <laughs> oh. Wu has every right to be here. He's an asset to our family and our home. Ha! Firecracker. Careful, lest ye be burned. Oh. I fear I should be cautioning you of the same. I am afraid I really must agree with my good doctor. Pray, what makes you so keenly fond of him? Wu. His name is Wu. What stokes your affection for Wu, then? A hearty respect for the value of his heritage and skills. You sport an interesting preoccupation to concern yourself with such matters of your household help. I make it my concern to know well who is under roof. And what so fascinates you in the tales of the Orient? <sighs> Wu hails from a family of farmers. Generations spanning hundreds of years, taking pride in the land. Mm. His grandfather cultivated herbs and disciplined himself in the healing arts, a trade passed down to Wu. What of it? With no legal authority to purchase land in the United States, he is prevented from fully exercising his skilled trade. Madame. You take tonic now. No, Wu. I think not. Dreadful tasting stuff. But, Dr. Say. Wu. I make for you her for my country, for heal. My lord will provide a way for me, Wu. But you're tired. I'm only tired of being here without William. Any word of his return? No, madame. Important work take long time. I suppose. He fancies himself a farming doctor, does he? <laughs> what does it say of a people who are pleased enough to break a man to benefit from his labor with no regard for his welfare? Hmm. Bravo. Your butler lives in gainful employ in circumstances that must far outweigh that which he left behind. If his willingness to risk the guise of authentic right and relation to cross borders is any indication, he is content with the opportunities our glorious land affords. When William plucked him from his work on the rails, he had not been paid his rightful wage due for weeks. The only payment doled out to him was a regular threat of report and deportation. He could have discreetly sought employment elsewhere if he found his conditions unfavorable. That's irrelevant. The treatment of his people is a mockery of justice. With no right to testify against a white man in our judicial system, we might as well call them slaves. Who is mocking justice, friend? Has honesty no value in your code of ethics? He and his kind have perpetrated a most cunning deceit, manipulating our borders and seizing upon our vulnerability in the aftermath of devastation. Do I interpret correctly that you welcome any palette of people who seek liberation from their own spoiled soil to enter our promised land through a passageway of lies? Tis as much illegal as it is immoral. <laughs> I'm afraid I do not consider flight from a perilous political climate a deviation from one's morals. Pray that you should never be faced with such a terrifying potential. <laughs> then where does one draw the line to guard rightly all our glorious nation of hordes? I suggest that a justified citizen is one who further social development, mm -hmm. upholds civic responsibility mm -hmm. and weaves tight the moral fabric of our culture. Agreed. Agreed, agreed, agreed. Mm -hmm. But the Asian is not our culture. Uh -huh. And his morals are called rightly in question. Next, we'll be trading in a silver for chopsticks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm afraid I cannot see the merit of skin color or origin of birth in the components which I believe propagate a thriving community. My. Clearly her thoughts are well informed. Why either of them merit is beyond me. They should have both been school moms chirping from a lectern. <laughs> I envision them more as Johnson and Jeffries in the ring. Mm. Fierce as they are, we should tread lightly, lest the suffragettes have their way. She's here! Retrieve my bowls. Use caution here. Why? That's where my dog went missing. When you're ready to receive the answers, they'll come. Look, my friends and my family are missing. So if you know something that I don't, lay it on me. The crystal beneath the earth in this region has created a portal above this house, allowing energy to pass through from one realm to another. They've all passed through. These gateways to the gods were not intended for mortals. I am sorry to shift course, but the night is not growing younger, and if you would all like to witness a true marvel, a glimpse into the hereafter, and the wisdom of the infinite, you must all gather around the table this very instant. You have a much deeper connection to the universe than you're willing to acknowledge. Allow yourself to remember. Trust your intuition. My intuition was telling me to get out of this house from the get-go. Well, the moment to have acted on that impulse has passed. You're here. You already crossed over and returned. I don't understand. I never left the couch. You haven't. Yet. But you will. You've completely lost me. Forget your ideas about time. A soul is energy. It transcends time and space. Energy can split, but it can only occupy one body at any given moment. The future you is trying to communicate with you. It's unable to physically manifest.
Dr. Lickyberg, how may I help you, sir? Lichtenberg. Lichtenberg. If I can say your name, good man, why can't you say mine? Boo. 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 That's what I'm saying. Boo. 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 Scheiße. I come at the behest of William. He sent word requesting that I check in on Mrs. Monroe. Thank you, madame, sir. Madame is indisposed. She asked I send you regards. Very well. Please do not hesitate to call upon my household. If we may be of any further assistance to her. Yes, sir, Dr. Lickybug. Vous. Someone's coming to guide you. I don't think I can handle any more new acquaintances right now. Do you want to find your husband? Of course. Then you don't have a choice. Madam. Woo, I'd like you to have a seat, please. Mama, where's Dada? Where's my Dada? Father will be home soon. Tonight we'll have who have dinner with us, yes? I can take for my No, Woo. I'm not hungry, thank you. Is there something the matter, Wu? Wu, oh, use chopstick, madam. Oh, of course. I presume that you have some in the kitchen. I'll get them for you. No, please. Please tell me that you did not buy into that. If you think they're both a bunch of nutters, how do you explain where Crystal came from in the first I place? Don't know. Not once, but twice. I don't know. That's the only lead you have. I just want my family back. Doctor and Miss. Arrangements have been made, friend. All the garments have been prepared. <clears throat> Thank you.
didn't serve, sir. We will smite your children to bed. So it's something. Keep up your strength. There are ways to speak with her. Again. infinite intelligence to bring forth the spirit of Emma Monroe to commune and communicate with us. Emma be with us. By the powers of the Almighty, come forth, Emma, join us. Enter this circle meant to embrace you. Tell us of your journey. Emma be with us. Emma, are you here? Emma, is that you? It's time you get some sleep. William, she has let you know that she has crossed over. We can trust that she is well. You must take your rest. I won't leave her alone. Then allow us to sit vigil through the night. You have much before you in the days ahead.
strength, little master. Mm -hmm. I can help bring her back. <sighs> Only in your heart. My dear Myrtle. Go home. You need to go back to God. Don't. 
Dr. Hunt, this, this is Robin James. I need to see you. Joel? My next opening is Thursday. No, no, this is urgent. I need you to come here now. Well, I'm afraid I can't be of service to you right now. Please, uh... Let me know if you'd like to make an appointment for next week. Be in touch. Hello? Okay, Crystal. I'm calling you. However you heard me the first time, hear me now because I need you to come here. Please. 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 Come through that door. Right now. Fine! Whoever you are! you are, come and take me too! Bring them back! The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Yea, though I walk through the shadow of the valley of death, I shall fear no evil. Thy rod and thy staff, nay, Comfort me. No. 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 Those are somebody else's words. Oh, Joel, please. 